Okay guys, in this tutorial we're going to do a 3D mitre cut and to do that um, we're going to start on the top plane, insert sketch, snap to grid, display grid, make sure we've got snap to grid on, we're going to work in inches, we're going to use 4x4 four four, um, steel tubing, quarter inch thing, quarter inch thick. So first of all, we'll sketch that in, like so. that then we shall offset the entity um, 0.25 an inch there we go just reverse the direction like so click accept we'll fully define it just for the sake of it and we'll go on to extrude and let's extrude eight inches down here Accept, press F to bring it into the <coughs> full view. And there we have eight inches of four by four quarter inch think. And this is gonna be a representation of steel tubing, steel tube. Now to create a 3D mitre cut, we will stick a sketch on the front plane. tool and we want to come across the top four inches then down four inches then back up at a 45 degree angle so we've created a triangle like so and on features we want to extrude cut look from the side select through all like so click OK and we can still see the sketch, so open this up and hide the sketch, and there we go. We have a 45 degree cut through our 18 inch piece of tube. Could do a 2D mitre cut through by in replicating this and sticking it onto there. Um, but we'll go one step further and make it into a 3D mitre cut by sticking a, another sketch on the right plane. Uh, same as what we just did, insert the sketch, and four inches across the top, down four inches, 45 degrees up to create the triangle. And we're doing the same again. Features, extrude cut, uh, reverse the direction, through all, and you can see there, and we click OK, and we now have what looks like an arrow at the end of the tube. I'll quickly hide the, um, uh, the sketch, and we save this as, um, call it 3D to cut, 3D to cut, save, then we can open up an assembly window and browse for a part, it's a 3D mitre, cut, ok, pin it down, we're going to drop one, two, three on the screen, and now we move to mating them. Okay, once we've got three parts in the assembly, <coughs> we're gonna rotate them, move components, rotate component uh, along the X, Y, Z axis. And we'll select this one, for example, and rotate it along the, what should we go, Z axis, 90 degrees. 
you can play around with this until you get the desired angle you're looking for. Um, it takes a while to get used to, but it's pretty intuitive. So intuitive. Um, we'll then go to the x-axis and rotate 90 again. Uh, let's have a look. See what we got there. That's not bad. We want. And we'll take this one and rotate it 90 degrees along the x axis and along the z axis. We'll go 90, and that looks like we are ready. Accept that. Click on the mate tool and let's make some lines. So we'll pull. This one on the mate, except this little line here to this one. Now you can see it's already coming together. This line here, except this line here to this one. And we'll go. Why not? Why not make the same one again? This one here. We'll make it from the same place again. To this one here. Bang. Accept. Press F. And now we can see we have our three-dimensional mitre cut, which is more efficient from the point of view of welding less distance to weld and it also leaves a nice opening for the hydraulic fluid or the fuel to move around inside the power cube frame.